Uh, <laughs> let's just go ahead and say it. All right. If Cal Kestis comes in this, it's going to be a big draw. Oh, it would be a huge, huge deal. Huge. I actually, I really hope to me, I'd, well, this is, if you're going to do Cal Kestis, I think this is actually the perfect place to introduce him because then if you bring in Kenobi, one, the part of our whole deal with the Kenobi show is it's like, it was like, does it ruin it for Kenobi, you know, to leave Luke and all this stuff? And now it, it's just like, I'd much rather it be Cal because then it brings him into the universe, makes it cool, hypes the game. And then right. also you could you could do a little mini like arc or something here where he's in for an episode or two, episode or two. And then that sort of lets us know what the game is going to be about. Have Jedi Survivor take place after Andor. Right. Yeah. No, I, I think this would be uh, huge because the game's coming out later. Uh, he there's this idea that he's already working with Jedi survivors. We've we've seen the tank. We're wondering who these people are. And then let me just for, in terms of timeline, Andor takes place. I'm trying to think, it's going back. How many years did they say before Rogue One? Like ten years or something like that. Right. Uh, so that would just so it works it's out roughly. Fine. It's roughly around the same time as Jedi Survivor. Yeah. So so anyways, this is really cool that you could have Cal Kestis show up in Andor. I think that would be one of those big because there are like we said, there's no rumors. There's no leaks on this. Uh, we, we don't really know um, other than little toy drops or little back covers on things. So if he's in it, that would be huge because then he's getting connected to the rebellion. Uh, maybe he's getting closer to maybe he's already working with the path and some of these people who were doing stuff on Jabim. That's the kind of stuff we want in Star Wars. We want things to matter and to connect, right? We want, we, we, like we mentioned, Quinlan Voss. Why drop his name if he's not going to matter? Why do all of those things with the Inquisitors and Nur and all that kind of stuff if there's not some connection to Cal Kestis? And you cast a guy who's who's a good actor. I mean, right. you know, like, like use him. I, it would bring a lot more attention to this. Um, not that you right. always need a Force-sensitive character or whatever, like Ahsoka or Cal or whatever, but it does add something. You don't want to overdo it, but it's nice to have in there. Right. Yeah, see, it's also interesting because if you look at that toy, if you look at these toys, um, yeah. Oh, man. I uh, can't zoom in because it's whatever, but um, I'm doing it on Twitter and it's mm -hmm. pulling in my page. But so you've got a little Jawa in, in there who looks like maybe the Jawa that came to visit Obi Wan. Oh, right? yeah. In, in Kenobi. Okay. Yes. Then you've got a Ben Kenobi. That look is it? Is that him from Kenobi? That's what it kind of looks like. Yeah, it looks like exactly. it looks like maybe yeah. when he fought when he fought Vader. Now his his it looks kind of blue that he was wearing. I don't really remember him wearing that that outfit, but maybe that's just what it is. Then you've got a purge trooper who we did see in Kenobi. It says Luke Skywalker Imperial Light Cruiser. So that's Luke from the Mandalorian. Then you've got Andor, an artillery stormtrooper, who's probably going to be in Andor. And you've got this Vel Sartha character, who's also going to be in Andor. So really, your one outlier is Luke, because Luke is like, you're doing a Mandalorian one. Yeah. So, but then, I don't know, then you've got Cal Kestis. So it's like, maybe you've got, you've got three from Kenobi, three from Andor, one from Mandalorian, and one from something else. But it just feels... It feels mm -hmm. like, hey, you feel like you'd really do those four together. Yeah. Like these are Andor toys. Right. For sure. No, you're right. You're actually absolutely. Uh, which, if that's any indication, that's, that is how much people will break down those toy releases. And, and you know, again, nothing tells us exactly it, that it would be an Andor toy. Other it than could be fake, too. It, right. the whole, it, 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 it could totally be fake. Yeah, it could be. It could be. But I love this, though, because it's its proximity to other characters who are in Andor uh, that makes us go, hmm. Is it possible? And it all fits in the timeline. So, like, that would still... That'd be sick.